joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Sorreo. Well, it is basketball season, and we are here at Peninsula High School today where you will meet the boys of varsity basketball team. What has the last two years been like from a coaching perspective, your experience, and what do you think that you have learned the most? A lot of emotions over the last two years, you know, frustration, uh, anger sometimes, disappointment, just it's for, everything I feel is, about, is for the kids, especially the seniors, because the last two years hasn't been an ideal situation for them. Last year was a shortened season in April, May, and then uh, this summer we thought everything was going back to normal. Uh, the preseason, we were able to get through November, mid-December, and then the, the Omicron surge hit. And then our league season was in, um, we, didn't, we weren't sure if we were going to have a league season. Uh, but we were, we were able to get seven games in. So it's just been, it's been a lot of emotions. I've just learned patience, <laughs> to be honest, um, in terms of just a lot of paperwork we had to do because of COVID. And then patience with testing. Testing was a big thing that you're just, it's not good as a coach if you're just wishing and hoping each week that your guys are not testing positive, mm -hmm. you know, and you're trying to prepare for games and you're just worried about um, cases and stuff. So it's been, a, it's been a whirlwind, but for the seniors, they're a resilient group. They've persevered, they've been through a lot. And to be able to just be here where we are right now, uh, preparing for playoffs on Friday, got to give, got to tap, you know, give them a lot of credit. It was interesting because when I asked them that, they did use a lot of words like perseverance and, and just, you know, like fighting kind of to get through it and yeah. really grateful to even be here just to be able to play, which, you know, is something you don't normally think about. You kind of take that for granted, but I don't think they did. Right. Well, it's a testament to their character too. Yeah. Like I said, the 10 seniors have been together, most of them since kindergarten, uh, four years here. They really gelled as a group and I think the group even became closer because of COVID, mm -hmm. because um, we've been preaching, hey, even on the weekends, you know, I know you want to be social with your friends, but at the same time, we need to keep everyone healthy. So we kind of kept our groups pretty small. Mm -hmm. Even as coaches, I've done the same thing just so I can make sure I keep myself safe and able to be able to be here and coach. So taking a lot of sacrifice from the coaches, players, staff. So um, I'm just glad that we're, we're still playing. As far as this year is gone, give me kind of an overview. Yeah, so the, we had a good preseason record. Uh, I think we finished 11 and three. Uh, I think we played our la our best game um, the day of the last day before break against West Torrance. Good team. We beat them at their place by one. And I really thought, okay, we hit our stride and we were playing well, and we were excited for we're going to go to San Diego for four nights after Christmas for a tournament. And then, the, and then the surge hit again. So our Christmas tournament was canceled. Um, and then we had to kind of move around our league schedule. And then league, we came in. I think, well, we had two weeks off in between break and then when we started league. And I think those two weeks of practicing really kind of uh, helped the team gel. We were playing better, playing more team basketball. We were sharing the ball better. And I think with just that extra practice time prepared us for league. And we started league three and zero. We beat uh, Redondo, PV, Santa Monica. Hit a rough patch against uh, Costa, Culver, and then Redondo again. But then we finished off with our second win against PV. Which so if you can sweep PV, your rival, then you're kind of heading into the playoffs on a on a high note. You talk about the seniors and the resilience and things like that. You know, what do you hope that they carry with them? I also want them to look back and how much time and effort they had to put in to mm -hmm. be able to enjoy two years of basketball here. Yeah. Their junior and senior year. Um, how much sacrifice it took. Uh, the, and their family too. It wasn't just the players. It was their families that, were, that had to uh, overcome a lot as well. I think they're just going to appreciate it more mm -hmm. at the end. A lot of players come back four or five years down the road. Hey coach, thanks for everything. I appreciate everything you've done. Some players come back, hey, coach, I wish I would have played harder. I wish I didn't give you a hard time. But I think these guys are going to come back and say, man, I really appreciated those two years of high school basketball because of everything that, you know, the, the, the virus and everything else that they had to put into it. How long have you been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport? Uh, I've been playing basketball 
since uh, lower school, around fourth grade, I would say, fourth grade, fifth grade. Mm -hmm. But I actually started playing competitively around middle school. Did you ever play any other sports or try any other sports? Uh, I have actually played a lot of sports. I mainly stick to baseball, football, basketball, and soccer. Well, uh, I actually still do play baseball, but I'm currently just playing basketball right now. I, what do you think that you maybe learn from other sports that helps you on the hardwood? Uh, I think just determination, hard work, and grit, because a lot of other sports, you just bring over other stuff. Like football, you just have to have pure grit to play the sport. Yep. As well as uh, baseball, you just have to have a lot of mental, mental strength, which mm -hmm. that actually helps a lot on the basketball court. So you guys have had a lot of challenges, obviously, the last couple yeah. of years. What's been sort of the biggest one dealing with COVID? For me personally, it's just the constant awareness because you never know who someone you know could get sick mm -hmm. or if your own family member gets sick or one of your friends from school gets sick or a teammate gets sick or just a person you were five feet away from was sick and you end up getting COVID because of that because people can hardly know nowadays if you have COVID or not. Right. That's probably the number one challenge you've had to face simply because we had to take so many precautions in order in order to avoid it. Was sports kind of a good outlet for you or tell me about that? Uh, definitely sports is probably one of the biggest outlets in terms of just getting away from the entire pandemic and quarantine simply be because it's kind of like a retreat yeah. having to stay indoors and stay away from everyone. How long have you been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport? Um, I've been playing basketball since I think first or second grade and uh, I'm not really sure why I chose it because my dad always wanted me to play soccer, but I just played with my friends at school and I grew to love it. So. Did you ever try any other sports? Uh, yeah, I played like AYSO growing up and I played baseball for a week, but I didn't like that. <laughs> so basketball's pretty much been it for me. What do you think it was about basketball that made you want to stick with it? Uh, probably just the fast pace. Um, and yeah, I just... A lot of other sports like soccer, it's just like kind of rare that you score and I like scoring. So like, I like the really fast pace. Okay, basketball. and yeah, basketball definitely offers that. Um, you guys have had a lot of challenges over the last couple of years. What's been sort of the hardest thing to get through? Definitely everybody staying healthy throughout the season. Yeah. Um, it seems like every other week now we have a positive case and people missing practicing games. So just keeping the team together and even practicing has been really tough, but I think we've gotten through it. So. You, you've been playing for a long time. What do you sort of work on in the off season to get a little better in your own game? Uh, definitely just my shot. By, um, like in my front yard, I'll get a lot of shots up and probably staying in shape, so lifting weights and keeping my cardio up is what I like to focus on. So. What's this year been like thus far? You guys are doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, we've definitely had our, our bumps in the road, but um, we're just getting ready for playoffs, so I think we've done a good job getting here. So, How long have you been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport? Uh, I've been playing for about six years, I think. Okay. So I started in middle school, and I, I think I started playing just... Well, I, I was originally playing football, but my parents didn't want me to get into anything more than flag, so I just first sports. That was kind of my next question is, did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, um, and yeah, football. Like football, any, anything else? or No, not no. Really at all. Did you like football? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah? yeah? What do you think you may have learned playing football that helps you play basketball? Um, I think the team aspect is of like all team sports, it's like it's, it's pretty much the same. Like, yeah. you have to have a good mindset, you have to work hard, and that probably transferred over to the basketball. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Um, I usually just stay up late. <laughs> <Usually>. <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys have had a lot of challenges over the last couple of years. Yeah. How have you sort of managed through that? Um, with COVID and everything, I just tried to stay healthy and eat well and work out at my own time. When I, because I mean, I didn't really have anybody pushing me, so I just, just like learned to push myself and okay. worked out for myself. And, Okay, and then um, in the off season when you're not playing basketball, what do you sort of work on to get a little better? Um, definitely, yeah, lifting weights to and gaining weight, and then also just getting up a lot of shots. And I mean, yeah, the past two summers we couldn't really do it with anybody else, so just right. getting up shots. Usually. What's this year been like being able to spend more time with your teammates? Mm -hmm. How, what's this year been like being able to spend more time with your teammates? Oh, it's, it's been really fun. Yeah, yeah. No, we haven't done it for a while, and like. 
the past couple years we did, it was like we didn't have a lot of games to play even. So yeah, it's been really fun. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I've been playing basketball since about first grade, and it's kind of, when I was younger, I just played every sport, and I had the most fun playing basketball, so I just what, stuck with basketball. What, what do you think it was about basketball that made you want to stick with it? Um, the fast pace, and just, I used to play baseball, and it was kind of just too slow for me. The high energy and fast pace is why I just stuck with basketball. That is super different to go yeah. from baseball to basketball, for sure. I'm, during the off season, what do you work on in your own game to get a little better? Um, I work on just about everything. I think you can always improve on everything: uh, weightlifting, free throws, ball handling, shooting, and uh, also mental. You know, I think basketball is a lot of mental, almost just as much mental as physical. So I try to work on as much as possible and just get better at everything. Do you do anything pre-game to kind of get yourself centered or? Um, not as much pre-game, but sometimes at home after workouts, um, I go in a, a pool that's really cold, like an ice bath almost, and it's kind of just like mental strength and mental toughness and helps me just clear my mind or sometimes just um, getting up early or doing yoga, that kind of stuff. Nice. Um, and then, is there any messages that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, he always just wants us playing hard and trying our best, but uh, yeah, he always emphasizes playing hard and doing the little things right, and that will clear up a lot of the big things. So you guys have had a lot of challenges, obviously, over the last couple of years. What has that been like getting through that? Uh, it's been a struggle. There's been a lot of up and downs, but it's been fun throughout the whole journey. Uh, we've learned a lot about ourselves, and uh, yeah, it's been quite an experience. Tell me um, how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Uh, I started taking basketball seriously like eight, beginning freshman year and um, I really I really chose it because I just you know the people I met from it, the coaches and the support I get, it helps me stay motivated to you know keep striving. Did you ever try any other sports or uh, I was uh, before basketball, I was uh, big in soccer. Yeah, and what did you sort of, I mean, did you like soccer equally or or, or what? Uh, I would say, yeah, I was playing both during the year. It okay. was just I couldn't decide which one. Okay. Did you find similarities in the two sports at all, or were they just very different for you? Uh, they were both fast-paced, but I think I found more differences in basketball that I enjoyed more than soccer. Okay, and so because you play sports probably all year round, do you have time to work on things to get a little bit more, you know, better at basketball or? Um, for me, yeah, basketball is like my main okay. my thing I do and then schoolwork on the side. So I have a few trainers here and there and coaches I met through various club programs that, you know, I tend to during the week to, you know, help me get better. How do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? I try to focus on getting my homework done or as early as possible because um, time management with sports and school is very important and I think that's like a key uh, thing you need to be successful in both areas. Okay, and then um, what do you think that you've learned the most getting through this kind of challenging time with COVID? I think I've learned to just, you know, stick with it, you know, it was a big problem for everybody, but at some point in life, you know, everyone's hit with an obstacle that you have to overcome. And I think it was, you know, it's a good, it was a good test for all of us, mm -hmm. the, the team in general and myself. You know, it showed like, you know, what things I can really accomplish. And I think it was like one thing that really keeps me motivated to keep working in the future. So tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. So I've been playing basketball since the third grade. Okay. And uh, I chose it because I think I just like running up and down the court and just valuing or valuing the the memories off the court. So that's did, what I chose. Did you ever try any other sports or? Uh, I did baseball, soccer, but all of them were not as action packed as basketball. I was going to ask you why you thought maybe you stuck with basketball over those sports. Yeah. Just the action. It's, yes, the action. Okay. And then the last couple of years have been a challenge, of course, for everyone. What do you sort of, what will you think back and remember about that time or what you learned the most from it? Um, I would say COVID was a big challenge because we couldn't practice as much. Right. So to overcome that, I would just try to practice at home and get as much practice as I can. What was that like practicing at home a lot? Was um, that, how did you sort of work that in? 
uh, it was a bit of a challenge to like you have to just constantly be motivated to practice by yourself and I guess just wanting to be better than other people was a good motivation to go outside and work on it. Do you ever have any like pre-game mental things that you do or or how do you sort of psych yourself up for a game? Uh, pre-game I just listen to music and okay. then also just like pray and just uh, try to stay composed before the game. How do you sort of balance the basketball time with the school time? Um, so whenever I have free time, just try not to procrastinate and go on the phone. Just try to get as much work as I, as I can get done and then go to practice. Right when I get home, try to finish as much work and then, then I can relax. Are you a video game guy or? Um, so during the weekdays, I don't really play video games, but on the weekends, I can play with them. That's your time. Okay. Yeah. I've been playing basketball ever since I was in fifth grade. And uh, one of my biggest inspirations is uh, Jeremy Lin. Oh, wow. And uh, okay. after watching his documentary, he really inspired me, and uh, it made me want to pick up a basketball, and so that's how I started, yeah. Wow, did you ever try any other sports, or? Um, not really. I mean, as, as a younger kid, I always, like, fell into, like, AYSO and, like, the uh, Little League, but I never really, like, um, liked the sport like that until I, I started playing basketball, yeah. That is so interesting that, I mean, it was, you know, you saw somebody else and that yeah. inspired you to want to play. Yeah. What do you sort of do in the off season to get a little better in your own game? So uh, what I what I uh, usually like to do in the off season is um, obviously get some reps up. Um, obviously there's a summer camp. So after that, then I usually go work out um, at the gym down the street, uh, Bay Club. And after that, I like, um, you know, eating a lot and just resting a lot. So that's usually what I do. Okay, and then do you, um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Um, so how I usually balance everything uh, during season is, um, so obviously I practice after school. Great. Then immediately I go home, I eat, and I do my homework. I just try to stay diligent with, um, you know, my schoolwork. Okay. And, uh, you know, not procrastinate so much so I could go to bed on an early time. So that's what I usually do. Okay, and then, you know, you guys have had challenges over the last couple of years, obviously, with COVID. What do you think you've learned the most through that? What I've learned the most is to appreciate the time you have because um, I haven't taken high school for granted ever since uh, COVID hit everybody in the world. And so, um, you know, just take every day, one day at a time, and to just enjoy the moment because, you know, it's not going to last forever. So I've been playing basketball for as long as I can remember, um, probably since kindergarten. And then um, I chose basketball because my mom liked it. She had me play every sport growing up, and she liked basketball the most, so I stuck with it. Did, what other sports did you try? Um, I played soccer. God, I was terrible at that. <laughs> I played golf. I was pretty good. I quit after high school started. And then um, I dabbled my feet in tennis, but I, I didn't like that. That was it, much. huh? Just yeah. basketball. Yeah, what, basketball what, was the one. What do you think it is about basketball that makes you want to stick with it? Um, I don't. I think it's the team environment, kind of being a part of something that's bigger than you. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, that's probably my favorite part. I've met so many great people because of basketball, and um, it's something that you can just like, like you can just go to the park and play basketball, and like everything that you're worried about go away. You know, you guys have had like you know a big challenge over the last couple yeah. of years. What do you think that you've sort of learned the most from that? Um, honestly, I think COVID was more of a blessing in disguise. Like I was able to like perfectly balance my my time with basketball and um, school and I, I just got so much better like like mentally and like physically as an athlete and as a student um, but yeah art I mean COVID was just it is it is tough we've lost a lot of a lot of opportunities because of it. Is there any message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Play hard and have fun that's 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 everything. Um, I've been playing basketball for about six years okay and I chose it because it was very interesting okay. to me. did you ever try any other sports or I played ice hockey and speed skating and soccer wow yeah. what do you think that you learned from those other sports that made you better at this game probably like agility and like the first step do you still play those other sports or no. okay what do you think it was about basketball that made you want to stick with it I don't know, just like putting the ball in the hoop was like really fun. Yeah. How, how do you sort of balance your school time with the basketball time? Um, I try to get my work done before school. And then right after practice, um, I try to get everything done too, as okay. fast as possible. Yeah. And you guys have had like a big challenge the last couple of years with COVID. Mm -hmm. how, what do you think you learned the most from that? Um, just like schedule time. 
I've been playing basketball my whole life, like ever since second grade. Yeah. Did you ever try any other sports or? Yeah, I actually play tennis too. Okay, and do you you play them simultaneously then or? Nah, they're in different seasons. They're, so okay. I just do basketball in the winter and then tennis in the spring. In the off season, what do you sort of work on in, in basketball to get a little bit better every year? I mean, every day I wake up at five in the morning and I lift before school, and then after school I go to Bay Club and I get up five thousand shots. Wow. Yeah. It's, That's I'm committed. Intense. Yeah. That yeah, you are committed for sure. Yeah. You know, you guys have had. Yeah, like a tough couple of years. What do you think you've learned the most from all this? I mean, I think it's like teamwork and camaraderie it really brings a basketball team together. And, you know, as far as like the messages that your coach wants you to remember, what will you always think of when you think of your coach? When I think of my coach? Yeah. Uh, a lot of great things. He's a great coach, great guy to be around. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And how good are you at balancing the school time with the basketball time? I mean... Student athlete, like student comes first, so I got to get my studies done. After that, like I'm just dedicated to basketball. I've been playing basketball basically my whole life, and I chose it because I fell in love with the game because my mother played it throughout high school and had an opportunity to play it in college. My brother played it, my sister played it. it. Just it runs in the family. It was a family sport then. Yeah. Did you ever try any other sports or? Um, I did. I did try soccer. I was. I was a bit of a football player, but I didn't enjoy it as much as basketball. What do you think, besides being a family sport, what do you think it was about the game that made yeah, you want to stick yeah, with it? For one, uh, I think uh, my height for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, but I love like the energy, like when we step into the, the gym and the zoo's going crazy, it, it just brings like a different feeling that I don't get from other sports. So, you know, we're yeah. kind of talking about, you know, the last couple of years have obviously been difficult, but because you were at home and your family plays basketball, did you guys work out together a lot or? Did you uh, have that opportunity? Yeah, we have a hoop in our backyard, and my sister is a really big advocate on me getting better every day. And she had me out in the backyard working six hours a day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's a lot. So you may have gotten better over the last couple of years for sure. I think so, yeah. Yeah. What's the message the coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, his biggest message, I believe, is working hard, not having any regrets. He talks about when he played basketball that he never wishes that he had worked harder in a game or in practice that we should never live with any regrets that this could be the last time we play basketball throughout our high school career because some of us don't get the chance to play at a higher level that just have fun with it give it your all okay and then um how do you balance the basketball time with the school time uh it's gotten difficult over this year we got come kind of come back to school um i try to do homework and stuff before we come to practice and then get the rest of it done after but a lot of the work usually comes throughout the weekend. I've been playing basketball since I was like six, and I chose it for my sport, mainly because my dad's tall, and I knew I'd be tall too, but also I just like how competitive it is, you know. I like seeing the ball go in the basket, so that's a great thing. Did you ever try any other sports, or? Uh, I tried soccer when I was younger, and then I tried volleyball, I think a couple years ago. Uh-huh. They're not for me. No? No. What, what do you think it was about basketball that made you stick with it this for as long as you have? Uh, well, I'm tall, so that's one. And then two, I just like, I like all aspects of basketball, you know, like the work it takes in mm -hmm. to get out there and perform. And then, you know, the ups and downs. I just love it. Love basketball. Okay. And then what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little bit better in your own game? Well, I've had a lot of things, you know. I'm naturally left-handed, so a lot of times coaches tell me to work on my right hand. Uh, this summer, I worked on my free throws. Okay. We got a whole lot better at that, and then my outside shot, my three-pointers. Okay. How do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Uh, not gonna lie, it's tough, but uh, you know, you just gotta stay determined. Come home, no fooling around. Just get straight to business, and then come to practice and work off. Okay. You guys have had a big challenge over the last couple of years with COVID. What do you think you've learned the most through that? Uh, perseverance, you know, always yeah. or way to be optimistic, always find the best in situations. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else, who's your team? Uh, definitely the Clippers. I don't really have a favorite team. I, I enjoy watching, like, specific players here and there, trying to learn from them. Uh, Jason Tatum's my favorite player. Lakers, and a lot of people think I'm a bandwagon, but I am not a bandwagon. Um, <laughs> I've liked them ever since they were, like, 17 and 65, like, in 2014. Um, they were really bad, but I was always faithful. I always liked the young core that came in when they all drafted all those lottery picks. And then, obviously, when LeBron and Anthony Davis came, 
Um, it just made it more interesting. So I've always been a Lakers fan. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? Who's your team? Uh, neither. I'm not a Lakers or a Clippers fan. I root for players more. I'm a, I'm a Trey Young fan. Um, the Jazz, definitely. But if, if I had to pick an LA team, the Lakers. I don't know. I, it, it used to be the Lakers, but I'm not a big fan of them anymore. So if it's a good game, then I'll watch it. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? Who's your team? Lakers. LeBron James. Oh, I'm a Lakers fan. Got the Lakers Crocs on. See, I would say Lakers, but I'm a Damian Lillard fan, so I'd have to go Portland. Probably Clippers, yeah. I, I did like the Lakers growing up just because I lived in L.A., but uh, they kind of suck this year, so I don't know. And that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field Local Edition.